Don't any of you have that guts to play for blood? I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. In the 1980s, Val Kilmer became a name synonymous with Hollywood charisma, but as the lights dimmed, his health took center stage, rewriting a glittering narrative. And for a great early part of it, the public would be left in the dark on the severity of his troubles. Today, we explore the life, career, and illness of Val Kilmer. Rise to Stardom Val Kilmer's journey to stardom is like a classic Hollywood tale, full of ambition, talent, and a touch of destiny. His foray into acting was not only a stroke of luck, it was a path that he seemingly was destined to follow. Growing up, he would be surrounded by creativity, from his mother being of Swedish descent to his father, an aerospace equipment distributor and real estate developer. But did you know that at a young age, tragedy would strike when his younger brother drowned? This event, as heart-wrenching as it was, had possibly fueled his drive to seek meaning and expression through the arts. His brilliance as an actor was evident early on. He became the youngest person at the time to be accepted into Juilliard's School of Drama. His professional career kicked off in the early 80s in the off-Broadway stage play The Slab Boys, which also featured Sean Penn and Kevin Bacon. Kilmer was not only another actor, he became a scene stealer with a magnetic presence. His film debut was in 1984 in a movie called Top Secret, which showcased his comedic timing as brightly as his dramatic prowess. From there, he would go on with a string of hits, which included Real Genius in 1985, where his portrayal of Chris Knight became a cult favorite. But then there was Top Gun in 1986. Playing the role of Iceman opposite of Tom Cruise, he became a household name. His portrayal of the arrogant yet skilled fighter pilot had garnered both critical acclaim and fan admiration. It's hard not to think of those aviator sunglasses without picturing Kilmer's striking face. The 1990s then saw him expanding his repertoire. Remember his stunning performance as Jim Morrison in The Doors? He was not only acting, he was inhabiting a role, blurring the lines between reality and performance. Then came Tombstone, where his representation of Doc Holliday became a legend in the world of Western cinema, and his line of I'm your Huckleberry is still quoted by fans worldwide. I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your Huckleberry. Kilmer's versatility became his hallmark. He could dive into the depths of a character like Jim Morrison, then effortlessly switch to the caped crusader in Batman Forever. How many actors can claim such a range? From rock star to superhero, his career was not only about the roles he played, it was about the stories that he told through them. The Battle with Throat Cancer Val Kilmer's battle with throat cancer is a story of resilience, a narrative that goes beyond the glitz of Hollywood to a much more personal human struggle, a journey marked not only by the physical challenges of a grave illness, but also by the emotional and psychological toll that it takes. His health odyssey began around 2014, though details were initially scarce. In those days, rumors would swirl about his health, but he, being the ever-private individual, kept all of them under wraps. It would not be until 2015 that the world got a glimpse into what was actually happening. Photos of Kilmer undergoing treatment would be the first clue that his battle was more serious than anyone had known about. The diagnosis was throat cancer. Just saying the words can bring a chill, and for an actor whose voice is as much an instrument as their body, this was not only a crisis, it was a threat to the very essence of his craft. He underwent a series of treatments which included chemotherapy and radiation, but his battle was not only with cancer, it was also with the public perception and the media. In a world where celebrities' lives are an open book, he chose to keep his journey private, leading to speculation and rumors. For an actor who spent a lifetime portraying characters, he now wanted to shield his real-life character from the world. In 2017, he would finally open up about his diagnosis during a Reddit AMA confirming what many had suspected. It was a moment of vulnerability and a rare glimpse into the personal life of a man who had always seemed larger than life on screen. One who had played iconic characters was now revealing his most personal battle. This treatment would take a toll on his voice, leaving it raspy and barely audible. And for an actor who was known for a powerful voice, this would be a devastating blow. Kilmer's voice was an integral part of his identity, both as an actor and as a person, but he never let the setback dim his spirit. 
In his autobiography, I'm Your Huckleberry, released in 2020, he detailed his journey with cancer, speaking candidly about the fear, pain, and existential crises that came with the diagnosis. But more importantly, he talked about hope and perseverance. It was not only a story of illness, it was a tale of finding strength in even the most vulnerable of times. His approach to his illness was also influenced by his faith. As a devout Christian scientist, he initially seemed to rely more on his faith than conventional medicine. This choice would raise some eyebrows. In a world where medical science is often seen as the only answer, his approach would be a reminder that the journey through an illness is as much a personal choice as it is a medical one. And despite all of the challenges, he still remained active, continuing to attend events and even starring in Top Gun Maverick, reprising his role as Iceman. His battle with throat cancer is a reminder of the fragility of life, even for those who seem invincible on the silver screen. Through it all, Kilmer remained a symbol of resilience, a beacon for those facing similar battles, and his story is not only about the struggle with cancer, it's about the triumph of the human spirit over some of life's most daunting challenges. The Voice That Faded The voice of Val Kilmer, once robust and resonant, was a tool of his trade and a signature of his presence. It underwent a strong transformation that very few could have foreseen. Imagine, if you will, a voice that carried characters to life, that resonated in theaters, and became as iconic as the face that it represented. This voice, integral to Kilmer's craft, began to change in a way that was both profound and personal. Post-treatment, his voice became a whisper of its former self, raspy and strained. And for an actor whose tool is as much his voice as it is his body, this was not only a physical ailment, it became a professional crisis. But this is also where the story takes an interesting turn. Instead of retreating, Kilmer faced this new reality with a remarkable sense of resilience. His response was not one of resignation, but of reinvention. Kilmer was known for his method acting and now had to method live. He had to find new ways to communicate and express and continue his craft. This phase of his life was less about the loss of his voice and more about the discovery of new ways to speak. In his interactions, he began using a combination of voice boxes and electronic devices to communicate. Can you even imagine the challenge of relearning how to express yourself? It's like being an artist who has to find a new way to paint or a writer who has to discover a new way to write. However, Kilmer did more than just adapt. He embraced the new phase with a certain grace and humor. His public appearances post-diagnosis would be marked with a sense of openness about his condition. He never shied away from showing his tube or using his electronic voice box. It was a move that not only humanized him, but also brought attention to the struggles of those who are battling with similar conditions. What some would perceive as a weakness became his power. Kilmer's professional life also had to adapt to the new reality. The roles that he took on and the way he performed had to change. However, Kilmer did find ways to continue his passions for acting. Aside from that, he also explored art and writing, turning to painting and publishing his memoir, I'm Your Huckleberry. These ventures, however, were not distractions. They were extensions of his creative self, manifestations of his voice in a different medium. The message became clear. When one form of expression fades, others can emerge, and the creative spirit finds a way, sometimes through a path you may have never anticipated. His journey is a profound study of what it means to lose a part of oneself and yet find ways to continue expressing who you are. A great narrative that transcends the realm of celebrity, touching the core of the human experience. His faded voice became a symbol, not of loss, but of transformation and perseverance, and soon it was to come back. A comeback with technology. In an era where technology can build new bridges and create new possibilities, Val Kilmer's comeback story is amazing. After throat cancer had taken a toll on his voice, that's when technology stepped in, not as a crutch, but as a transformative tool, which enabled Kilmer to continue his passions for acting and storytelling. The heart of this renaissance in his life lies within his collaboration with a software startup. Together, they had embarked on an ambitious project to replicate his voice using cutting-edge artificial intelligence while employing a blending of his old voice recordings and the latest in AI technology. This would recreate a voice that cancer had threatened to silence. 
His involvement in Top Gun Maverick showcased this incredible fusion of human resilience and technological innovation. The use of AI in Kilmer's comeback goes well beyond mere voice synthesis. It represents a larger narrative of empowerment and accessibility. For many, losing the ability to speak as they once did could be a diminishing experience, but in Kilmer's case, technology had provided a platform for expression that defied the limitations that were imposed on his illness. This collaboration between man and machine had opened new doors, not only for Val Kilmer, but for anyone who was facing a similar challenge. His journey with technology also serves as a beacon of inspiration for the entertainment industry as a whole, pushing the boundaries of what's possible while blending human talent with technological advancement. The approach to overcoming physical limitations is a game changer, offering a new lease of life to those in the performing arts who may have thought their careers were over due to health issues. The technology that enabled Kilmer's comeback has also had more broad implications, a window into the future where AI can assist in more personal and intimate ways. Imagine a world where technology not only makes your life easier, but also more expressive and inclusive. Kilmer's story is a glimpse into that future, where the barriers are broken down and new forms of expression become born. Rather than seeing his condition as an endpoint, he embraced it as a new chapter and a different kind of role to play. This adaptability, powered by technology, became a crucial lesson in resilience and innovation, a lesson about using the tools at your disposal not only to overcome a challenge, but to redefine it. His use of AI is not only a personal victory, it's a cultural and technological milestone, redefining what's possible in the face of adversity while setting a new precedent for future innovations in the world of art and beyond. The Legacy in Top Gun Maverick Val Kilmer's return to the big screen in Top Gun Maverick was more than a mere sequel appearance. It was a symbolic and triumphant moment in his career, resonating deeply with his personal battles and the legacy that he built in Hollywood. In this highly anticipated comeback, Kilmer reprises his role as Iceman, a character that became synonymous with his acting prowess and a nostalgic emblem from the apex of his career. Top Gun Maverick, released decades after the original, was not only another action-packed aviation film, it was a bridge between generations, between the past and the present. And for fans of the original Top Gun, seeing Kilmer on the screen again was a journey back in time, a reminder of the golden era of 80s cinema. But here's the thing, his role in the sequel was not just a nod to nostalgia. His portrayal of Iceman in the sequel would be met with both excitement and curiosity, how would the filmmakers address his real-life health issues? The answer laid in a blending of sensitivity and innovation. The film had acknowledged his condition, integrating it into the storyline in such a way that was both respectful and impactful. This integration not only added depth to his character, but also highlighted his resilience and commitment to the craft. The scene between Kilmer and Tom Cruise made a particular impact, it was not only two iconic characters reuniting, it was a moment of cinematic history, a fusion of fiction and reality. The scene's emotional weight was not lost on the audience. It was in many ways a celebration of Kilmer's journey, one that was marked by both triumph and tribulation, both on and off the screen. His character's adaptation to changing circumstances mirrors Kilmer's own life, a powerful narrative tool using a character's evolution to reflect the actor's real-life experience. And in doing so, the film blurred the lines between the character and the actor, creating a deeply immersive and authentic experience. The film's success and critical acclaim for Kilmer's performance would be well-praised, showing that an actor's legacy is not only built on the roles they play, but also upon how they adapt to life's unforeseen challenges. Kilmer's role in the film became more than just a comeback, it was a statement one that despite life's hardships, talent and passion can prevail. Moreover, his participation in the film has a far-reaching impact that goes beyond his personal narrative, inspiring actors and artists who are facing similar challenges, showing that limitations, whether physical or otherwise, do not define an artist's potential. It encourages the industry to think creatively and inclusively, accommodating and celebrating the diverse journeys of its members. Faith and Resilience Val Kilmer's journey through his health challenges has been as much about his resilience as it has a reflection of his deep-rooted faith. 
His battle with throat cancer and the ensuing struggles have highlighted a side, often overshadowed by his Hollywood persona, that of a man deeply anchored in spiritual beliefs and unwavering resilience. It's well known that Kilmer is a devout Christian scientist, and he's often spoken about his faith and how it has shaped his approach to life and challenge. Christian science is a faith emphasizing spiritual healing, which played a significant role in how he faced his cancer diagnosis. Initially, he had heavily leaned on his faith, relying on prayer and spiritual means for healing. This approach, while controversial to some, would be a genuine reflection of his beliefs and personal choice in facing his illness. His reliance on faith over conventional medicine did not come without its challenges. As his condition worsened, it brought him to a crossroads where faith and practicality intersected. The decision to eventually embrace medical treatment would be a significant shift, one that highlighted the complexity and depth of his journey. This choice was not only about seeking medical help, it was about finding a balance between his spiritual beliefs and the realities of his health condition. Kilmer's journey is a powerful narrative about the role of faith in the face of adversity. Moreover, his experience brought to light the importance of respect and understanding for personal choices in health and healing. In a world where medical science is often seen as the only answer, his journey is a reminder of the diverse ways which individuals will approach healing and recovery, and one that the path to wellness is personal and multifaceted. His battle with cancer and the resilience he's shown serve as a source of inspiration for many. His story resonates with those who are facing their own health issues, offering hope and a sense of camaraderie. The openness that he has shown about his struggles and unwavering spirit in the face of challenge provides a sense of solidarity while encouraging others. Looking Ahead Despite the hurdles that are posed by his health, Kilmer's gaze remains steadfastly forward, illuminating the path that he chooses to tread with optimism, creativity, and an unyielding zest for life. His outlook on life post-cancer is not only about continuing his career, it's about redefining what it means to be an artist and a storyteller in the face of adversity. His journey ahead is shaped not only by the roles that he might play on the screen, but also by the myriad of ways in which he's chosen to express himself and share his experiences. In addition to his cinematic endeavors, his artistic pursuits extend to other realms. He also has a strong passion for art and writing, profound expressions of his inner world, offering insights to his life and thoughts. His art and writing are a bridge that connects him to his audience in a more intimate and personal way than ever before. His perspective on life includes a focus on his health and well-being. Navigating the aftermath of a cancer treatment, he is undoubtedly more attuned to the importance of health and the value of each and every day. This consciousness likely influences his choices and priorities, both personally and professionally, and his journey ahead is as much about maintaining his health and enjoying life's simple pleasures as it is about his public persona and professional achievements. Furthermore, his role as an inspiration and beacon of hope for others facing similar challenges is an integral part of his path forward. Being open about his battles with throat cancer and his resilience in the face of such adversity have made him a symbol of strength and determination, standing as living proof that challenges, no matter how daunting, can be met with courage and grace. As he looks ahead, his life continues to be a narrative of encouragement and empowerment for many. And of course, his future in the entertainment industry remains a topic of interest and speculation. While his physical voice may have been altered, his artistic voice remains as compelling as ever. The industry, with its evolving technology and growing inclusivity, holds a place for a talent like Val Kilmer, who can bring depth, experience, and a unique perspective into their work. This potential contribution to film, television, and other projects are boundless, limited only by the imagination and the willingness to innovate. In the more broad context, Kilmer's future is also about legacy, how he chooses to shape it, and what he leaves behind for his fans his family, and the artistic community. His legacy is not only a collection of films and roles, it is the story of a man who has faced extraordinary challenge and emerged with a renewed sense of purpose and creativity. It's about the impact he continues to have on people's lives, not only as an actor, but as a human being who has shown remarkable resilience and an undying passion for life.